Hello, I'm Greg, and here at Team 17, we're working with three leading museums of games and play to help support and save our industry's heritage by launching Saving the Arcade World campaign. Now, the turmoil the world finds itself in with the coronavirus pandemic has exacerbated the struggles for video game museums, which are fighting to keep our industry's genesis alive. They're endeavouring to preserve arcade game heritage, which is a vital part in the history of the multi-billion dollar global games industry. An industry which we are all a part of. You know, irrespective of whether you work in the industry or purchase one game a year, you are part of something that brings joy to many of us. A beautiful expression of creativity that continues to play an integral part in many of our lives. The games industry is thriving. As gamers, we have access to a plethora of entertainment at the push of a button, spanning a vast array of categories that we've never been as privileged to experience before. This is all thanks to our heritage, to our arcades, to the retro games that laid the foundations for what the industry is today. Now, this is where we can all play our part. Saving the Arcade World features a number of fundraising efforts, the proceeds of which will be split equally between the three museums to continue and develop preservation projects. The synthwave track Saving the World from the official Narita Boy soundtrack is now available to stream on Spotify and all major online music platforms. All proceeds from song sales until the launch of Narita Boy are going to the campaign. That catchy track you may be able to hear in the background is indeed Saving the World, but you're already having a boogie. So, if you can do your bit to support the games industry's heritage, it would be massively appreciated. I'll put the link to Saving the World at the top of the description. Thank you for your time, and may the force of the trichroma be with you.